What's going on guys, Iggy Bash here, back with a new OSPDFR episode, welcome back everyone. Today I'm excited to be showing you a brand new Starsky and Hutch mod. I hope you guys are excited for it, I've been waiting for it to come out for several years and finally it's here. We're gonna be playing as Starsky and then we have our partner Hutch with us over here. And look at that, he looks like very authentic, we have a pistol on the side over here ready to go. And uh, yeah, the most important thing I've been really waiting for is the Gran Torino. And uh, yeah, this vehicle just came out and I, I just had to grab it. I had to grab it. We had to do an episode on it. I've literally been waiting for years to do this. So really excited. The vehicle sounds absolutely amazing. And uh, yeah, guys, we're going to begin today's patrol. This is going to be kind of vintage. Oh, the, the only other thing I forgot to mention this. For the weapon, we only have the heavy revolver, and that's kind of like authentic to the time period. But anyway, let's go ahead and get in the vehicle. We're gonna tell dispatch that, oh, hold on, that we're available for calls, and uh, we're gonna begin today's episode, man. How many of you guys have seen Starsky and Hutch? Like the old movie or the new one with uh, Ben Stiller and Owen Wilson? That's like one of my favorite movies, guys, of all time. It's like so sick. But, whoa, what just happened over there? Was there street racing going on? Maybe not, maybe not. <laughs> I don't know if today's patrol is gonna be like a bad cop patrol. It's very possible, but I guess we'll see what happens. Suspicious fertilizer purchase. No, we're not gonna be answering boring calls today. Today we're gonna be answering calls of street racing and things like that. Today's Today's episode is going to be really exciting, but anyway, let's go ahead and see what kind of calls we can get into today. Who grabbed your purse? Hold on. Oh, oh, I'm on the mission here. Hold on. There he is. He's right there. I see him, I see him, I see him. I got I got eyes on the guy. What are you doing, man? Let's go, let's go, man. Let's go. This guy grabbed somebody's purse and he's running away. Hold on. Get over here. He's got a weapon too. Dang it. Should we call for additional units? No. Starsky and Hutch, that don't call for additional units. Oh my gosh, I should have kept Oh my god, dude. <laughs> should have stayed in the car. This guy is a good runner over here. Hold on, we may need to hijack somebody's car. You know what? This is gonna be a bad cop patrol. This is. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I oh my gosh! I, I thought I hit him. No, man! I hit him in the legs. Oh my gosh! Apparently, we we killed them somehow. We gotta return the purse to the victim. But uh, we'll call EMS for this guy. EMS is responding to our location. Let's go ahead. Dude, I tried to shoot him in the legs. But somehow we took him out. There we go. You're welcome, lady. You're welcome. We returned her purse to her. But dude, all right. EMS is responding to help the guy. But what the hell? <laughs> I guess that's a really heavy revolver. You shoot somebody in the legs and uh, yeah, you can just kill them. That's crazy. I love the sound though. It was so powerful, man. But yeah, man. All right, let's see what other calls we can get today. This was like an ambient event. It was not really a call, but was exciting to uh, begin today's episode nonetheless. Let's go, man. Let's go, Hutch. Come on, man! Hop on in! <laughs> oh, man. I hope you guys are enjoying this episode so far. And I hope you guys had a happy Thanksgiving. But let's go ahead and see what other calls we can get today. Attention. This is Dispatch. We have a 503 on... She's got a call for a stolen vehicle. Let's go, guys. Let's go. I am in route. Copy that. All right. Do we have... We don't know what the vehicle is, but I guess we'll find out once we get there. Oh, I thought it was going to be on the highway, but nope. It's going to be over by the movie studios. Here we go, guys. I see the vehicle. There it is. 
Where are you going? There he is. Hold on. Oh my gosh, we got stuck in the sidewalk. Damn. That vehicle is pretty quick. Oh! Just collided with another civilian. All right, let's block him in. Block him in. That's like a BMW. What the hell? This thing is pretty sick. Pull over, buddy. All right, we're going to ram him. Woo! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That'll do. That will do. Get over here. <laughs> LSPD, get on the ground. I'm not shooting this guy. I'm not. Hold on. But I'm not running after him either. Let's go, man. Let's go, Hutch. We'll hop in our vehicle. Go after him. Oh, there he is. I'm like, where is he? Hop on in. Come on. We got to go after him before we lose him. <laughs> there he is. I see him. I see him. I see him. Nope. I think he was going to go into the subway. Nope. He's, he's not. He's not. That would have been actually a good idea. Oh. Dude. Oh, shit. No. Don't tell me. I was going to say, don't tell me I, <laughs> I killed him. There's no way. All right. Don't move. Fucking don't hard. move. Oh, shit. Get on the ground. Get on the ground, dude. You're done. You're going to jail. You look just like my partner. <laughs> That's so funny. Kind of resembles Hutch a little bit. All right. We got him in custody. He's going to be Get going to jail to today. Die. Wow. That's not nice, lady. That's not nice at all. All right. Loser. Here we go. Eyes look red. Pupils are dilated. Okay, you stole that vehicle. It was very nice, actually. Pretty quick. You should have gotten away, but oh, wow. we got my oh, Gran no. Torino, which is crazy fast. It's got a V8, guys. <laughs> my mother always told me, you can't handle the V8. <laughs> Found the flashlight, for those of you guys who have seen the movie. Like I said, it's one of my favorite movies, and uh, yeah, it's really funny. If you guys haven't watched Starsky and Hutch, make sure to check it out. But uh, all right, here we go. We are code four. We have a transport unit coming right here. Let's go, man. Let's get out of here. All right, she's gonna pick him up and uh, take him to jail. Oh, dude. <laughs> we gotta fix up our vehicle, but uh, yeah, we're all set here. Let's get out of here and see what other calls we can get today. Units, possible terrorist activity in Rockford Hill. Just got a call for a terrorist activity. Let's go ahead and respond right now. Woo! Let's go, man. All right, it's not far from here. Come on, get out of my way, people. Man, I love the way this vehicle handles. Pretty amazing. All right, let's take this right. We'll take a left. And oh my gosh, shots fired, shots fired. Hold on. I am almost on location. There's other officers. Oh, boy. You gosh, dude. There we go. We're here. We're here. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. No. Oh, my gosh. One shot. That's all it took. I had to make sure that I took him out because he had a fully automatic weapon and I only had one shot because it takes so long to uh, reload this thing. We got really lucky here and uh, yeah, his partner was already taken out by the other police officer that was already on scene, but holy crap, man, that was awesome. Let's get EMS out here. And, uh, we'll pick up this cash money. <laughs> and if you guys watched the um, the movie, you guys would know that Starsky is doing everything by the book. You know, he books evidence and stuff like that. But Hutch is uh, kind of um, I don't know. He takes shortcuts, and uh, he's not very uh, he's not a good cop, basically. Um, but yeah, he would have pocketed the money and things like that. So it's kind of kind of interesting. In fact, in the beginning of the movie, uh, Starsky says, you know, the police, uh, police does pay us very well. And uh, Hutch says, police doesn't pay us enough to do what we do. So it's kind of funny. It's, a diff it's an interesting balance between the two characters. But check it out, guys, if you haven't watched the video. But we're all set here. Let's see what other calls we can get today. Madway Bender Drive for possession of drugs for sale. All units, we have a 653 Mary on West Eclipse Boulevard. Just got a call. Oh my gosh, dude. What the hell was that? Where are you going? What is happening over here? 
Uh, oh my gosh, dude. What is going on? I have no idea. We just got a call for a briefcase. And, dude. Literally, all hell is breaking loose over here. I'm just trying to respond to a call for a suspicious briefcase with a potential bomb inside. And then the firefighters came over here, police officers, like, what is happening? But it's here in the cemetery, right? Hold on. Let's keep our eyes out on the suspicious briefcase. It's going to be over here somewhere. May, may need to ditch our vehicle. What's up, dude? Alright, you guys see it? Hold on, let's go on foot. Where is I it? Oh, I have eyes. Okay. Alright, open the briefcase. Here we go, guys. This is going to be interesting. How I, oh, we got 38 seconds. Come on, let's do the hack tool. That's one of my favorites. Oh my gosh, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, come on, dude. Oh my gosh. Hutch, where are you? <laughs> where is he? Oh my gosh, is he okay? He probably flew like miles away. Dude. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. That was crazy. Where did he go? Let's try and find him. This is this is great. <laughs> well, I guess if he died, you know, this this is a, a very uh, convenient place to die, right? <laughs> uh, we're at, at a cemetery, you know. <laughs> Where did he go? I literally don't know. But you guys know how much air we got. Like, we flew so far up, but uh, he, he may have been closer to the bomb. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Poor Hutch. I don't think he survived this one, unfortunately. But yeah, guys, on this note, and I almost forgot, guys, we obviously will be testing out the top speed of this vehicle. So we'll, we'll do this right now, actually. If you guys want to leave your guesses for the top speed in the comment section down below, you know the drill. I'll be guessing with you. The guess for the top speed will be, for me anyway, I'm going to guess... 128 miles per hour but leave your yeses in the comment section down below and uh let's go test it out right oh i got hutch i got hutch look there he is <laughs> where'd you go man oh my gosh he must have flew like so far but anyway we are ready to do the top speed run let's go my guess is 128 miles per hour leave your yeses in the comment section down below and let's go test it out Alright guys, we are ready to do this and off we go. 30, 40, 50. This thing is kind of quick. And that's like an old school V8 car, so it's not going to be crazy fast, I don't think. The acceleration wise, the torque, you know, you can do lots of burnouts, that's cool. But top speed wise, I don't think it's going to do all that well. So far, 90, over 100 miles per hour. Come on, 128 is my guess, 105. 107, 108, 109, keep pushing it, 112, 115, 117, 118, 122, 124 blank, I think 124 miles per hour was the top speed of this vehicle, if you guys guessed it, great job, but on this note, I'm going to end today's episode, I hope you guys enjoyed it, if you did, oh my god, <laughs> make sure to smash that like button and as always don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out